This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Weight champion Magnum TA. You know, I believe Jim Cornette is probably a man now that can tell you a little bit about pressure because he got himself in a situation that all of a sudden he doesn't know how to handle. He thought it was real cute when he called out America's team, knowing we both weren't there. He thought it was real cute when he got the advantage to take advantage of a lady. Well, baby doll is a lady. And going after vengeance is something that I'm becoming very fond of. And now not only are you having problems with America's team, it seems the James boys come out of nowhere, give you a little bit of trouble too. Well, Jim Cornette, it's long from being over. We can talk about it all we want. But until you walk in that ring, when you deal with us, when you deal with all the pain, blues, and agony that we can dish out, and then baby doll gets her hands on you, the nightmare won't be over. And one little note from Nikita Koloff. Your game plan isn't working so well, is it? All the damage you're going to do to me in these Russian chain matches. Well, I have suffered a little damage, a little bit of pain, but I'm still standing here and I'm still holding on to this. Think about it. You know what? He is so pretty, it's unreal. I be listening to him talk, be traveling down the road with him. I look at him, he's so pretty. Some lucky girl out there telling me, Lance, someday, some way, this boy gonna be hung up, you're gonna get him, and that marriage gonna be somewhere made in heaven in this country. But Dusty Rosie Mac and Dream, baby doll, the perfect team. Got to know now that her boy's gonna take care of business. Gonna take care of business. Magna GA, Dustin Road, the Midnight Express, Jimmy Connett. You go home and ask your mama tonight what it's gonna be like when the American Dream, Dustin Road, and Magna GA take the world. Take the title from you. You have it no more. You have no more money. You have no more fame. You have nothing. But just what you got is a little bit of film of us or whoever they was taking care of business. Whoever they were. Okay, America's team, Dusty Rhodes, Magnum, GA, now back to the ring. You got a lot of film of us or whoever that was. <laughs> By the way, how great is him talking about one lucky lady? <laughs> I know. <laughs> they show Miss Alabama there, too. Saw that. She was, was in the crowd. Yeah. She was looking pretty roll tied, too. Yeah. The way Dusty started that, I was thinking, you know, Dusty may have been out all night drinking. I wasn't, sh but then again, he, uh, he just, that? no, there's nothing wrong with that. But then as he started to get into it, it, it was pretty apparent. He was just being goofy. A lot of beer consumed, man. I think the beer of choice back then was Miller light. Still the beer of choice, bud. Yeah. Oh, shout out to PBR who's looking at sponsoring us. So never mind. Yeah. Okay. No, I'll... listen, I think the official mortgage beer is Miller Lite. Okay. I've never been to like a mortgage convention or some sort of big whatever. And there's you haven't? Whole... I, no, I'm saying I haven't been to one and it wasn't the beer of choice. I've been to a bunch of mortgage events and that's what I'm saying. You know, before Michelob Ultra was a thing, dude, everybody was, was rocking a Miller Lite. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it was the era. When I turned, they, they, um, 30, they had the, yeah, okay. When I turned 30. I'm not sure. No, that wouldn't have been right. So 32. When I turned 32, Cassio Kid and a friend of the show, Cole Kublik, had a pallet of Miller Lite delivered to my house. The Miller Lite truck came down my back driveway, and one by one, my game room where I have the pool table. I didn't know this, but I come home, and there's literally six foot high. Just case after case after case of Miller Lite. So that became, uh, <laughs> whenever anybody came over that summer to swim or whatever, they're like, hey, man, do you have a course light? Nope. Got as much Miller Lite as you want, though. <laughs> Still to this day, probably one of the coolest presents I ever got because it was like, what do I even do with all this? <laughs> you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. Who hadn't gone and bought a suitcase before? But six feet high? Uh, lot. Well, that was back during this era, during the 80s. Uh, less filling tastes great. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.